Tim Ryan is here for another episode of QB1, and we're talking about Matt Ryan, Tim. This is so disappointing to me, quite frankly, because I thought for whatever reason, I guess I won't go on a long diatribe, but I've always been a fan of Matt Ryan for being able to compartmentalize his own productivity in Atlanta versus the chaos that was going around him organizationally. And so I figured when he moved um, that he would sort of be able to bring that consistency and have a place where he might be able to make an impact. I, I really thought Indy, I thought this was going to be a marriage that worked out. And now uh, we're seeing that it's not. I mean, how surprising is this to you? Yeah, I, I mean, I always feel bad for Matt Ryan, and and not not because of my namesake. Um, I just he he always, I feel like he always gives your team a shot, um, and the the numbers he's putting up are pretty great. Um, but it, yeah, I, I feel like no matter what, he's always on kind of the losing side. Uh, or you know the the last minute you know uh, two second drive or whatever it, it, it seems like he's always fighting um, but he's he's a great quarterback and it, it's just uh, you know now that he's with the Colts um, it's it's uh, yeah it hasn't been it hasn't been pretty um, <laughs> and. And uh, but he still puts up puts up the numbers. So if you're if you're not a Matt Ryan fan, Tim, I feel like one of the things I've heard is, yeah, he puts the numbers up. He's consistent in nearly every single offensive category. But when it comes down to making key decisions on key drives and big moments, what separates truly great elite quarterbacks is the ability to make those right decisions and deliver the results regardless of circumstance. And Matt Ryan's not a quarterback that can do that sort of thing. Um, how much do you agree with with that being true? Yeah, I, I yeah, I sadly agree. Um, it, it's it's almost like he he always throws the the pick six or the you know unfortunate interception. Um, even you know after putting up you know 300, 400 yards through, throughout a game. Um, yeah, he, he he tends to do that. I mean, but twenty eight three, we we can't forget about that. Um, unfortunately, um, but yeah, it's, it's it's always just enough, but not quite enough. Uh, I wonder, and I mean, I don't know how to really say it without kind of sounding I don't think crass is the right word, but like I wonder how much he really cares. Uh, I think I think any NFL quarterback that's made it to to that elite level probably cares about winning or losing. But there is something to be said for the way that he's managed his career, which is set his family up, get the paycheck, be the company guy, be solid offensively week in and week out. Maybe you're not winning Super Bowls, but at the end of the day, you're a really solid option for nearly every NFL team that needs a quarterback. I mean, it's quite a career to have. He's made a ton of money. Yeah. yeah. Is it, does he? Does he care? Does he care that much? Yeah, and, and at this point, he's in Indianapolis. Uh, I mean, not no shot at that city, but um, yeah. Does he really? Does he really care? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I I, I just I, I look at the the stats, you know, throughout the day, and you know, go from, you know, just a, a hundred yards or whatever. And by the fourth quarter, you see the numbers dial up and ultimately it ends up in a loss. But it, it, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> um, he's, he's a fighter, but it, it ultimately it's, you know, not, not winning football. So what what happens from here now do you think tim with with matt ryan and indy um I, I i mean i don't know uh if they have any better options but um it, it it does amaze me to a certain degree um that he he's still doing it um you know i when 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 he got traded or whatever moved to indianapolis i 
you know, my initial hunch was, yeah, it's, it's over. Um, but you know, he, he's still doing something. Uh, but I just don't think it's that great. 